guys, welcome back to the Beatles Shelf. We have a, a pretty cool um, video today. We're checking our di 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 dynasties, Titius uh, larvae, and also checking the results of a feeding experiment that I tried. So um, this is the one I experimented on. What I, the experiment was I took one of my dynasties larvae um, that was set up in a container like this um, and I turned it upside down so that the larvae always burrowed down to the bottom where the lid was and every two or three days I'd open it up and put some cat food pellets in. And this is to add extra proteins and supplements to the diet and help them grow faster and bigger. Um, Japanese breeders do this a lot and it's really popular with uh, Goliathus species. So um, I measured each of their weights before um, I started the experiment. It's been going for about 10 days, and we're gonna see how much weight um, the larvae have gained off of a normal rotten wood compost, uh, rotten leaf substrate uh, versus a um, the same substrate with a cat food uh, supplement. So. Uh, they're getting close to L3, I think, here in a little bit, uh, maybe a week or so, or under a week, they'll probably be L3, uh, which will be cool to see. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. We have our scale set up over here on the micro camera. We're going to check this one first. This was, um, didn't mark down the weight for this one. I think it was 4.5. Four or so grams. I have the notes in there somewhere. So we'll just. Again, you loosen it. It's pretty damp. That's good. Doesn't smell bad. It smells normal. There's the larvae. Okay. It's getting bigger. Um, we'll leave that compacted and then we'll check our weight over here It's got this scale. It's kind of hard to do experiments like this without a scale So Okay We're at four point Four point five grams Okay, just poked there, and this is for R. Okay, cool. Uh, it's growing well. You can tell by the um, the white underneath the spiracles, um, right in here, right on the spiracles. It's probably getting close to pupate to an L3, um, and also the head capsule is um, small compared to the diameter of the body, the abdomen is also very large, so good signs, really healthy, good larvae, okay, it doesn't make, it, it is accurate that it wouldn't grow, um, a massive amount because this was only 10 days and 10 days on, um, any sub substrate, even with fast growing larvae like a uh, Goliathus, uh, could be, you know, two grams max on like a giant growing larvae. So um, adding, you know, 0.2 or so grams is uh, totally normal, but still healthy. That's good. Substrate looks fine. Pop it back in there. The real treat is going to be looking at the one that's been fed supplements and see if it's uh, grown its hump. I marked the weight down for that. Yeah, 4.6. So this one has a point, maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.1 or so um, increase. I'm gonna grab the spray bottle. Just kind of 
kind of lightly dampen it a little bit. Not too much. The substrate's doing good, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, cool. Now we'll check our other one. I also didn't write down the weight, but it was, again, around the same 4.4. I think this one is 4.2. Um, so we'll check it. This is what this is one of our problem larvae that kept um, coming to the surface. So I'm hoping that it's still doing well. It is awesome. It's alive. This one could be pupating soon. This looks good. Substrate's nice and uh, compact at the bottom. We'll spritz it a little bit more. Okay. Trying to get uh, all the little dirt particles off of it. Okay, where's our container? Got some uh, fecal pellets in there. That's okay though. We'll uh, leave it at zero. Four point five again. So they've both grown, uh, which is good. Um, about one was four point two, one was four point four. So one grew point three grams, one grew point one gram uh, in this about a week, ten days time. Um, it's not bad. It's pretty good growth. Then pop our substrate back in. This this also smells good. It's still like a normal soil smell or a forest smell. Substrate's a bit more black than the other one. I'd be just more damp. So, um, so point anywhere, an average of 0.2 grams in about a week, 10 days or so. Um, now we'll check our other one. So the important part with um, supplementing um, your, any kind of rhinoceros or stag beetle is to um, get food that is high in protein. This one has about 38, 39% protein and uh, the rest is other stuff. Um, get something that's healthy. Koi fish food actually works really well. I've heard really high, it's got like a 75% protein content um, or close. Um, it's pretty good. Sorry, my camera just uh, went out. Bizarre. Okay, it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, we're gonna open this up. The cool part about doing this is the larvae comes to the bottom of the container, uh, so it's really easy just to take it out and uh, feed it. I feed mine every two days or so. And if there's some hard chunks, it's usually a feed pellet that's uh, gotten filled with mycelium. Um, we'll just kind of lump this out. Don't see the larvae yet. There it is. It looks pretty big. Wow, really big. Okay. So we'll go back here.
I think this is really close to becoming an L3 RV. You can just see how, how big it is. So, and the head capsule is small compared to. Five point six. That's big. So that was one gram. That's a whole gram in a week to ten days. Um, so ten times or so, five five to ten times faster growth on these feed pellets, uh, which is absolutely insane. So. Um, you still leave it in the substrate so it can still eat the substrate um, and every few few days um, if you see when you open it up if you see any kind of mycelium this kind of spidery web looking stuff pull that out um, replace it I mark yeah, that was a food pellet you can kind of see that there in a clump of dirt the food pellet in there um, so I will remove the uneaten food pellets after two days because it'll get too soft and rotten for them to eat. Um, and then I mark on here, it's, it's kind of a lot, a lot of notes, I don't have it organized, but um, when I add feed pellets, I put plus five or however many I put in. I usually put in four to five every two days. Seems like it's working pretty well. Um, if I find a lot of uneaten pellets, then I'll decrease the amount. If I find no uneaten pellets, uh, no mycelium, then I'll increase the amount. Um, if you're finding a lot of mycelium, then usually it's because your substrate is too moist. So decrease um, the humidity there. Uh, there's an, probably another food pellet and or chunk of wood. It's a food pellet, yep. So a lot of uneaten ones. I'll probably just add, um, I'll probably just add three to four from now on. Let's, um, let's weigh how many food pellets is one gram to see how many um obviously there's there's waste uh in her food but we'll just see how uh how much she theoretically has uh has eaten so we'll tear this zero it get it to pick up so that's one, two, three, four, five, six at point six. Nine at point nine, so probably around ten feed pellets. It's not quite uh, picking up. Oh, there it is. There it is. You can see that. It's uh, it says kind of hard to see. Um, we are at one one gram, right there for ten feed pellets. So. Um, assuming no waste, assuming that she takes in all the protein, um, that's 10 feed pellets uh, in a week. So I feed every two days around the same time every day. Um, and obviously very good results. So I think I'm going to start doing that with my other larvae. It's important as you do this to, um, make sure that the substrate isn't going to crush the larvae. So don't compact it in the top, but just kind of make it loose. Um, loose the whole way through. Um, and then put the larvae on the top of the substrate. So we'll start, we're putting some back in. Put some here. I feel around for more food pellets that might have uh, not been eaten. Put some here, make a little hole for, yeah, really big compared to the other ones. So that's super awesome. Really good sign to see that, um, She's healthy and that it's working. So and obviously you keep a substrate in there just to make sure that um, she has options to eat. And what we'll do is we'll also show you how I feed. So I open up the substrate, a hole in the top so I can see the larvae in there. I will just kind of get her toward the top a little bit more. And then I'll take um, we're going to do, she's gaining a lot, so we're going to do the same amount. We're going to do five. I take five feed pellets, put them right, right next to her. And then 
spray it a few times. Um, one or two sprays is fine. And you spray it to uh, soften the food so that she is able to, uh, to chew it because they're hard otherwise. Um, I have kitten ones, so they're a bit easier, a bit softer. So fill it up to the top like that. Pop your lid on. Make sure your lid's pretty tight so you're flipping it upside down, and then pop it upside down. Awesome. And then I put some air holes in the bottom as well as the top, just to make sure. And you don't have, I right hear it's completely filled. You don't have to have it filled. Um, I have my sub, that much substrate in there, so I just decided to leave it. Um, yeah, we'll do this with the other larvae, uh, have them grow, and then we'll um, check back. I usually, you pull out the feed pellets every two days when you feed, so you feed, add new ones, take away old ones you can see, take away any mycelium. The mycelium doesn't hurt the, uh, the larvae in any way particularly, but it, um, it just promotes mites and other things to form. It gives them food. So, um, and I would say check the weight every maybe two weeks. You can go in there and, and check it. But if you know that it's working, don't worry about it. Just go through and clean it out. Adding the food pellets will make you change out the substrate more frequently. So maybe every month or so you can change the substrate every two months, depending on how, uh, um, how dirty and how uh, infested you think it might be getting. Mine's pretty clean and the lobby didn't have any mites on them. So... I might go longer. Uh, we'll see. Really good results. Um, we'll keep following up. Again, that was five to ten times more growth uh, with food pellets on Dynasty Satias. So, have more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.